front. You should do it here so you can see the front of this. Okay, here, don't start it yet, you big weasel. Oh, you're doing your truck that's filthy dirty. You need to start over. You action. <laughs> don't do action. This is not a high budget movie, okay? Start over. Take one. Action. Hey guys. You can't do that. You're messing with me. <laughs> How can I do... not do that? Take one. Action. Okay. Take two. And action. Hey guys. Sheila and Danny. We're going to talk about our 2020 Rockwood Ultralight Forest River today. Um, when we first got it, I wasn't so sure about it because of the brown, but it does match Danny's truck, his King Ranch. So they do look good together, and he loves that truck. So we're going to talk about a few things about our Forest River um, RV today. I love the frameless windows. really makes the RV look good, and the storage space underneath the garage is fantastic. It's got the power tongue jack, the uh, cover for the um, batteries, and propane the tanks. propane tanks. Does that have two batteries? Yes. Two batteries because there is solar hookup on this. There isn't solar panels, but there is solar hookup. You've got your um, power um, electric jacks, stabilizer jacks. I'll show you these uh, strong arm steps when we go inside, but I, we love the two entrances. Um, we can't put out the whole um, awning today, but you can, you can see that it stretches the whole length. Our campsite here at Ants Creek in Kimberling City is a recreational campsite, and it's really quiet and nice down here, but our campsite's a little small, so we couldn't put the awning out, but the tree does give good shade. so. Um, the Rockwood, this style comes with the um, shelf here and the uh, uh, cooking shelf here and a griddle, but I think the people before us kept the griddle, so we bought the grill for it at um, Camping World. And um, this is, Danny says this is a really good idea to get these, um, what do you call these? that are between the tires. Wheel chocks. Wheel chocks to help um, stabilize your tires when you're parked. Always get these to cover up to keep your critters out of there. Um, Don't put it on the intake side. Yeah, we found that out. It could keep your furnace from running properly. Our model is the Rockwood 2612WS. And these are your retract and, and um, extend buttons for your stabilizer jacks. This is your stinky slinky holder. It's got the ladder for the walkable roof. And again, it's got the giant window for um, seeing out. And that uh, same window. It comes with a trailer hitch. Nice. But you really shouldn't pull anything with that but like a bike rack or something. It's not really rated for much more. Nice deal. Hardened wheel okay. cover. Ours has, oh, that's Gamora. She thinks she needs to go everywhere with us. Mm -hmm. um, this is a 50 amp unit because it is set up for two air conditioners, though we only have one on this unit, but that does have the power exhausts. Um, we have two slide outs. Love the covers on top of the slide outs. Keeps debris off of your slides, so when you pull your slides in, nothing gets damaged. Which are optional. Yes, they do not come factory. But they come set up for them already. Oh, and they this does come up um, set up for a rear backup camera. We purchased a camera for ours at Camping World. It was about five hundred dollars, was it? I don't think, think you it was can get some much. cheaper ones, but I jewed them down. <sighs> you gotta play the game. Gotta Storage here, um, outdoor shower, hot and cold running water. These are all your connections. Um, always get a drinking hose and um, with filter on it. Filter. 
for your Even though this camper stuff. has a filter on the inside yes, already. Yes, it does have a built-in filter on the inside. This is your slide for the bedroom. We'll see that in a minute. And this is the other side for the um, storage. And here's your docking lights. So, and um, even though this is not a super long, this is about 6,300 pounds dry and about 29 feet. So it's not a super long camper, but you really should still get your sway, what do you call them, sway hitches, sway bars? Those are weight distribution. Weight distribution. Okay, so um, we're going to take you inside now. I don't know if we can get through here. And Look at that truck. Inside. Watch me break my knees. Oh, is this the, this is for your solar power, go power. Oh, these are your outdoor speakers also. Here is your TV jack. You can hang a TV out here. Here's some electrical hookups. Uh, we don't have a mount on ours for the TV, but it's a lot of the new ones do. You can bring your TV from the inside outside and hang it up outside if you like. These are very cool. This is dirty. These easy lift. Are the easy lift power steps. They go up. Very. And easy. when you bring them down, they come down slowly. They don't slam down to the ground. They have a hydraulic lift on them, so they don't. And they're adjustable for the height that you need. So, as you can see here, this is on. I'm gonna rip that off. Danny's gonna put a new screen there. And Lippert and Camco make for your pets an extension here, a defender, what was it called? Guard defender, I think, that goes on here. Dogs. You don't, your you dogs don't rip the screens apart screens. like this, yeah. having the hours. Yeah. Okay, if you want to come on in to our little home. Well, it's a little dark in here, so why don't you switch that on. And that's your command center right there. And your thermostat. It's got all your little things on it. Um, these have... Which, when we bought this camper, that thermostat was jacked up. And Camping World was nice enough to go rob one. And get us a new Actually, one. Actually, they didn't. They no, ran they all the way one. into Springfield to get us a new one. Yeah. So they took care of us because they knew we was going to use it that weekend. That weekend, yeah. You've got your day blinds on here, and then these are what your night blinds look like. This is which like this to keep for privacy. This is your sofa bed. I don't know if it's a jackknife or if it's a sofa bed. I can't remember. I think it's a sofa bed because it's not lifting out. It's pretty heavy. Um, this model that we got, because we don't need a dining set, does not come with a dining set. It came with the sofa bed and the theater seats. So you probably ask, well, what do you eat on then? We have these little stands here. And I do say little because I wish they were a little bit bigger to cover a little more space because they are kind of small, but they do work out really well. Yeah. Your drinks will not support here though when this is on, so you'll have to use this one for your drinks, but this is where we eat. When our granddaughter comes to stay with us, she sleeps there and she does have a table, um, but we eat outside most of the time anyway, if, unless it's not oh, great God, weather. Have this space. Yeah. Now, storage space is good on this side, but you'll see I don't have much storage space for like my desk room and dustpan, not liking that. I do like this space, but we wish this would have come with a fireplace. Now, fireplace is optional on most of them. This one we did buy used, so we didn't have that option to get the fireplace. Surround sound. It does have surround sound for the television. And this is awesome because there's storage behind there. Which it's, I think could kind of be useless. It can be. Unless you want to store DVDs or a video machine or something back there. Put your guns in there. Yeah, you could to hide from people. I like the, the kitchen. The storage is a bit lacking. There's only one drawer for all your kitchen stuff. This is for your 
sponge or whatever, and then my dish trainers down there. This I do like because you can, you have Stand extra counter, counter space. And if Sheila can get it back down, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And I have a good pantry here. Pantry's pretty good and deep. Nice and deep. Yep. Yeah. It's deep. Real big. Now, our model has the Domatic refrigerator, which is the gas electric version. And I think it's the eight cubic foot. The newer refrigerators are coming with 12 volt now as an option. I don't care too much Actually, for the blood grain look. Yeah, the darker colors we didn't really, weren't crazy about. The newer versions come with the lighter colors. Um, the bathroom is, this model is the walkthrough. So the bathroom is a bit smaller, but it does get the job done. There's some pretty good storage down here for your chemicals and stuff for a toilet. You've got storage down there, your medicine cabinet, things up there. Um, right the shower. inside there is where the water softener, or not the water softener, but the water filter is inside yeah. there. The shower is pretty nice. Danny can get up in there. He's six foot tall. That's no problem. Here's your power fans. This is already open. Is it open? Yeah. So then you just click fan on. Do you click fan on? What's yeah. fan? Hit the other button. Oh, fan on, and that's fan off. Then you've got your different things. In a lot of the newer ones, there's a switch for it, so you don't have to stretch and reach. Your showers have the switch here to save water. Bedroom. Good size shower. Nice shower. Yeah. Bedroom Glass is doors, a little tight doors. for me, but it has a lot of storage. Down here, it's got two drawers. One for him, one for her. This storage is easy to get to. That's where I put my bathroom stuff. This is a little bit harder to get to, so you kind of got to lean in and stretch your leg yeah. over and stuff. Kind of wish they would have put this out a bit further. Or but spot for a TV. Yes, this. Put a TV in there. If you had this outside, you could take this TV outside. That's what they're saying. It's prepped for outside. If you had this, good store, good tables on the outside. Those cabinets down there. And then right yes, there. this is cabinets down there too on each side of the bed Both sides huh oh yeah and this one's a drawer on my side this is my side of the bed the obviously bad thing is Manny's not a doesn't... yeah bad storage space is a little lacking underneath though we can't put the dog put bed under there or the, the dryer dog. sheets in there and it actually helps control the odor and um what do you call them it's critters they don't like them. If you pack your camper away at the end of the year, put dryer sheets in your unit. As many places as you can think of, under your sheets, under your mattresses, in your closets. There's another power fan. This is our extra door. So this is kind of an issue, but not really. It hasn't been a problem for us yet. It's just the two of us, but we do love our little camper. Um, Rockwood, we really like. We are looking at the newer, updated um, 2022. They've changed the number, though, so they've changed the floor plan a bit. Um, Ants Creek is a nice campground. It's quiet here. I, we can see the lake from our lot. Our lot is a little set up backward because our um, picnic area is back there, so it's kind of in the sun. And we can't really put our awning out. So those things we were a little upset about. But walking around, it's beautiful out here. And the hosts were really sweet and nice. And uh, we kind of enjoyed it. So that's our 2020 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any questions anybody has, you can put it in the comments. And we'll try to answer them. And oh, we did buy our, our Rockwood at Camping World in Stratford, Missouri. You can go down there, talk to Mac, Big Mac, cowboy hat, older gentleman, sweet as pie. Very old. <laughs> Don't say very old. He'll kill you. He's older than dirt. He's still old enough to whoop your butt. Anyway, oh, did you tell him about the, the 
the AC unit. The AC unit. They are pretty quiet. It is pretty quiet. These are ducted units. So what you do is you keep these open when you first right, cool down the unit. Then when they're cooled down, you close these vents back off. Vents go and then everything back. the well the AC will blow out of the vents and cool down the whole trailer. So and if you wanted a second AC unit, that's where it goes. Yeah. That's why it's set up as 50 amp unit trailer. But you don't uh, need yeah. one. Go down and Camping World, talk to Mac. He He's a wonderful salesman. He will get you taken care of and tell him that Sheila and Danny sent you. And he'll take great care of you. Thanks, guys. Don't talk to you later. Don't make fun of Sheila too much. This is our very first video. <laughs> yeah. Don't.